All right, what's up guys? Today we're talking about a level three repair and how to drill the holes through the crack, through the floor of your tub and spray the foam. So I wanted to kind of go through what's underneath your tub because um, that's what a lot of people get nervous about, drilling holes through their tub. Uh, first thing you need to remember is, well, your tub's already cracked, so this isn't gonna damage it any more than it already is. Um, second is, is basically you're like, you're airing up like a flat tire, essentially, if you think about it like that. So here's a diagram of a bathtub. This is a diagram of like a walk-in shower. Uh, basically the same concept. So you've got your bathtub or your floor of your shower, uh, and then you have a built-in support board. Now, normally that support board is going to be built in and it's going to butt right up against that fiberglass floor. So there should not be a gap uh, like on a brand new tub. Well, over time, as you stand on it and it kind of bends and bows and it'll, it'll start to warp and it'll develop a, a gap between the floor of your tub uh, and the support board, which you see that little gap there. That's basically where that would be. A lot of times that gap's going to be uh, anywhere from like an eighth inch to like a half inch wide. Um, and so you, you do want to be sure to fill that gap in as well. Um, then you're going to have another gap. You're going to have a gap between the support board and the subfloor, which is this thick line here. <clears throat> and basically, uh, you want to fill in any gap below the floor, right? So uh, you got to fill in this gap, but then you also want to fill in that gap and you're going to drill different holes to accomplish each purpose. Um, so here's an overhead view of a, of a tub floor. Uh, you've got different kinds of cracks. You've got cracks with multiple uh, ends to them, like three, three ends to the crack. A lot of cracks are just going to have two ends, so there's going to be a split. Um, and then this is kind of an example of like a soft area. If you just like, you, you have a soft area in your tub and you know it, um, you can go ahead and prevent that from cracking and starting to leak if you just go ahead and add the support. So what we have here is, for example, on this crack here, the O's, these are gonna be your deep layer support, right? So. These are going to go through the floor, through the support board, and down to the subfloor. And you're really going to feel that firm support when you hit that subfloor. Then you're going to have X's. These are going to be like shallow layer supports that are going to go through the floor to the sub or to the support board um, <clears throat> and then stop there. Because with those, you're going to try to fill in any gaps here, right? So, um, what you do first is you drill out the end of each crack using a quarter inch to a 5 16 inch drill bit. Um, and then you're gonna put your foam straw all the way down to find the, find the subfloor, uh, lift it up just a little bit, and then start spraying foam. And you're gonna spray foam uh, filling up this gap here, right? And then you're gonna drill the shallow layer support holes uh, and then you're going to take your foam straw and you're going to put it down in those and then you're going to fill up any gap between the support board and the floor. Um, and what you want to see is, let's say you've got these all drilled out. Let's say you start pumping foam in one of them. You really want to see that foam start to come out the other holes as you're pumping the foam. Uh, that means you're getting good coverage uh, and then you're going to let that set for at least two hours, uh, possibly more. Uh, let it set for two hours. When you go back, you pop off the foam that's kind of bubbled out of it. It'll be hard at that point, you pop it off. If it's still like real soft and gooey uh, at the center when you pop it off, just keep letting that set up for a little longer. Um, <clears throat> you know, let it at least for two hours. You know, if you give it, four or five hours, it's not gonna hurt anything just to let that completely set up. So there's really no time frame other than make sure it's all firmed up and it pops off and it's all solid. Uh, and normally that takes two hours or more. And then, you know, keep in mind if you've got a soft spot while you're drilling these holes or while you're, you're adding support, if you've got a soft spot, I'd recommend go ahead, uh, drill a hole there First, do a deep layer support, kind of get a feel for is there a gap between the floor and the support board. 
uh, and then find that subfloor and go ahead and add some support there. So if you feel any kind of a gap, um, do the deep layer support hole, pump your foam down in there, um, but then also do a, a shallow layer support hole where you just drill down to that support board um, and try to get some foam in any gap that might be in there as well. Um, that's really it. Uh, very straightforward. Feel free to contact us. Uh, you can message us on our website. You can send us an email um, or give us a call. Uh, we're ready to help you. Uh, we want to see you be successful in this repair. So um, if you're unsure about anything before you start, just give us a shout. We'll talk you through it. Uh, you can also text us pictures of your damage. Um, you can text it to the 877-234-9882. Um, if you text us some pictures, that'll help us see what you're dealing with. Uh, and we can even better guide you through making your repair. So don't hesitate to give us a shout. We look forward to helping you. Uh, and we really believe our kits are going to help you uh, save your tub, save the equity in your house, and uh, save you a ton of money, honestly. So thank you.